All right, so our season's just about done here, and uh, we've got a couple of loads left to do. We're doing them this evening after 6 o'clock because they are what we call bee loads. There's a beehive within a mile of these fields that we have left, and I do have insecticide on this load. So I cannot spray these fields between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., which is which allows the bees to do, get out and do their thing and then uh, go back to their hive in the evening and then I'll go out and spray when they go back home. So, which is good. I like good local honey just like everybody else. So, um, so anyway, we got a couple of bee loads to do tonight and I thought I'd bring you guys along. And traffic, Thrush 2249 uniform departing 27 back to the south. I do. My Actually, my first field is not near a beehive, so let's see. My engine monitor says it's 6 p.m., but cellular time, I'm about five minutes early. But this first field is not by a beehive, so that's the only reason I took off a little bit early. I can get going on that one, and by the time I get that one done and move on to the next field, it will be after 6 p.m., and I can verify down here that I am not within a mile so on my iPad and on my map and so you have one tower out here we'll look out for won't take us long to get to the field here my prop set flaps are up this thing configured for flying and spraying my wind is out of the uh, west, so I want to start on the east side of the field, work my way back into the wind. That's how we prefer to fly these fields. The field's coming up here. And the first thing we'll do is circle the field just to make sure that I've, you know, I've sprayed this field several times, but you never know. Something may have changed. So i got power lines on the one end. I've got a building site. A little bit of corn around that building site does not go with this field, so I don't spray that part. Nothing downwind to worry about. And uh, just to verify, I, I don't have my brake on on my fan, so... Uh, my mix, my chemicals are recirculating in the tank while I'm flying around. And they will be ready. I enter the field. I'll set up my GPS. I'm going to do a racetrack pattern. And it is ready for point A. A and B will mark the downwind side of the field. Go ahead, mark point A now. Start spraying. Mark point B before I get to the end, and I got too much going on. Shut the spray off. 
And it's kind of a narrow field, so we'll swing out wide here a little bit. And point C will be marked on the upwind side of the field, so the computer knows how wide the field is. Trim up the field when I get done, so I don't need to worry about turning on that spray right away when I'm coming over the trees or when I'm lifting up over the power lines. And feels like we need a little air conditioning. Running about 42 pounds of pressure on the boom, which is where I want it. On this one, I'll come back somewhere close to the middle of the field. How it works with the racetrack pattern. And we'll just work those two lines up to the upwind side of the field. My engine monitor, everything looks good, everything's in the green. Speeds are good. I normally leave a pass if the wind is blowing towards somebody's building site. Especially if it's not the guy that hired me. I normally leave a pass just to make sure that nothing floats over onto his property. He did not order the spray job, so we don't we don't need to, we don't need any, our spray at any time leaving the field. Just looking over there, making sure that nobody's come out of the house and maybe running around in the yard or running over towards the edge of the property line. You always got to keep an eye on these building sites. You just never know. People are curious. You got curious people and you have people that would like to file a claim against you if they could. You got to be really careful. I'm not saying that these people would. I don't know who lives there. Just saying that I'm going to be... You have to always be careful. Especially when you're around building sites. Where people may be. And unfortunately it's getting worse and worse every year. Still don't see anybody over there by the building site, but keeping an eye on those wires. Got a truck coming down the road pretty slow. We'll keep an eye on him, make sure we know where he goes. A lot of people are just curious. They like to watch the planes, but you just never know.
Okay, so that truck turned around and came back, so those are the kind of ones you want to watch out for. That could be good or bad. I kind of had a suspicion when I saw how slow he was going. And sometimes you'll get some they'll try and blast up to the end of the field about the time you get there. And then they'll come running out to the airport claiming you sprayed their car. But like I said, some people are just curious and want to watch. So if I see vehicles that it looks like I'm going to meet at the road, I will shut my spray off early. And that's all being recorded on this GPS. My speed, altitude, spray on, spray off. That way if somebody does try and file a false claim, I've got proof what I did or didn't do. It's unfortunate that you have to think that way, but unfortunately you do. Picking up plenty of bug splatters on the window, so it's probably a good thing he, this farmer decided to throw some insecticide in it. So I'm spraying fungicide and insecticide on this load. Fungicide is our our uh, normal uh, spray, what we do here in Iowa every summer. For the most part, you know, a lot of it's done on cornfields, but uh, farmers are seeing a good re yield response by throwing it on the soybeans as well. A lot of times they'll, by the time we get to, when it's time to do the beans, the bugs are pretty active and a lot of times they'll throw insecticide in with it, so then we got to watch out for all the beehives. And there's getting to be quite a few of those around. So we'll see if I can get this field done before the batteries die. Should hopefully be able to. Make sure that tower didn't move on me. Always a good idea just to kind of look and refresh your memory on where your obstacles are. next field for this farmer that I have to do is there's a little campground right there so I chose not to do that field over the weekend when there was people around I have called the farmer and he has uh, called people and let them know that I will be coming tonight to spray that field so they're usually not out there during the week anyway but a call just to let them know it never hurts.
So that was the last pass. I'm going to spin around here and trim up both ends. Keeping an eye out for that tower because that's going to come into play here a little bit on the other end. Okay, so I'll document the time I finished.